reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 1 to 4. Isaiah, the book of Isaiah 54, verse 1 to 4. It said by an exhortation. Say, sing, O barren, you who have not born, break forth into singing and cry aloud. You who have not labored with a child, for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married woman, says the Lord. Enlarge the place of your tent. I want you to mark that. And let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not spare. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. If, I, if we had time, that is a whole sermon. What God, through Isaiah, is telling the children of Israel. Verse number three. For you shall expand to the right and to the left. Your descendants will inherit the nations and make desolate cities inhabited. And finally, do not fear, for you will not be ashamed, neither be discouraged or disgraced, for you will not be put to shame, for you will forget the shame of your youth and will not remember the reproach of your widowhood. Is it First Chronicles 4? Ten. Is it something like that? And the Bible says, Then Javeth called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me, indeed, and enlarge my territory, that your hand will be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. And the Bible ends up by saying, So God granted him what he requested. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May God grant to us what we have requested. Divine enlargement. Divine enlargement. This simply means making room for you to become bigger. In other words, if I wanted to, to, to put on weight, you start buying clothes that are overweight. Try to fill them up, right? And if you want to lose weight, then you buy clothes that if you tie, you feel some capain, you know? unaenda, kama unaenda shagari, unasikia tupo baka ufugue, mushipi kwa sababu umeja, ili upunguze. But the Lord is talking about my being, to enlarge myself, and he gives us ways to do it, is first of all to prepare for it. I don't have it, but I prepare for it. Look at your neighbor, tell them, neighbor, for God to do anything to you, you have to prepare yourself. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Don't wait until you have it to have a place to put it. Now, some of you need to start preparing yourself where to park that car because it is coming. I think you need to prepare yourself where you're going to plant that tree that you have. You need to prepare yourself. See, ukipata nyumba unachindwa nitapanda nini. Start thinking. Mango on the left, banana on the right. There is guavas in front of my house. Think about it. You know, some of you need to start praying for your children. Yeah, blessing them. Hallelujah. You know, oh, Bishop, what are you saying? Some of us need to start placing our children into offices. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I wish I'm speaking to people that are believing what I'm saying. Because if God is going to enlarge me, then I have to be ready for the enlargement. He No, 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 no. Because this is Simuliambiwa. Because why, why are you getting so shocked? But this is, has already been prophesied. So I'm walking in that which God has already. Oh, hallelujah. If you want to become bigger, prepare. It refers to growth, increase, enlargement. So divine enlargement then is when God intervenes and brings about growth and enlargement and increase in someone's life, someone's family, someone's ministry, someone's business, or someone's career. Hallelujah. 
It is the antidote to stagnancy, limitation that are attacking the destinies of people. So when God is enlarging me, he wants to beat up some stagnation. Look at your neighbor, tell them, neighbor, stagnation seems uri. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mwangalia jirani yako. Huku wame mwangalia. Mwangalia tu vizuri mwambia. We unaunakana unapenda kuwa stagnant. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you know it, it wants to cripple us. But when divine enlargement takes place, stars will arise again. You start seeing stars, no darkness. In the name of Jesus. When you are caged, your destiny, your cage becomes broken. You are not tossed and put down. You are loosed. The grounds that are fallow have been broken. You can plant afresh. The yokes have been destroyed. Your captivity, you have been set free from it. The territories that are before you, you can possess them. And there can also be revival, recovery, and restoration. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May the Lord enlarge my territory. My territory. So enlargement to me is a key to increase in possession. It is enlarging. And enlarging to me means that my possessions, will, I will keep on increasing. It means if I'm buying a plot, I'll buy another one. If I'm in a house, I'll build one for rental. It will make God to bless me on all sides. That's what the Bible says. On all sides. Sio kubarikiwa wandugu. Na kauzitu kada kanaingiaga mulangoni mbele. Na umaskini bado umeja kwa nyumba. Iyo nimesama kwa nini? Be blessed always. Njia zote, wewe na mama na watoto. Mwe watu wakubarikiwa. So therefore, if I'm, I'm praying myself for enlargement, then I have to be ready because God wants to bless me. Now tell your neighbor, God wants to bless you. And if God wants to bless me, and we were told by Samuel here, that before we pray then, because God wants to bless me, he hears. So, my struggle is not whether he will hear. Because hearing, he will. In the book of Genesis, chapter 26, um, verse 12 and 13 and verse 22, then Isaac sowed in that land and received the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until it became very, very great. Usikubali kutosheka. Allow God to cause you to be very great. And the Bible says he, po he had possessions of flocks. There was expansion, there was enlargement. Verse 22 says, And he removed from thence and dug another well, and for that they strove not. And he called the name of it Rehoboth. And he said, for now the Lord has made room for us and we shall be fruitful in the land. He declares, wali ngangana kwa hi, sasa wangangani kwa hi, mungu watanibariki, na nitapata room ya increase. Unaanza kakioski kamboga, unakuta wengine wamereta mboga pale, hebu buwana anibariki niweke nyanya. Eh hey, na niweke machungwa. Eh hey, niendelee nikikua niweke kitungu. Eh hey, niendelee nikiendelea. Nikiendelea nikiendelea hata ninaweza weka sukari pale na majani chai na mikate. Hapo tu kwa hiyo kioski. You know sometimes some people look at the bishop and they want the bishop is it real? I'm saying it is real. It is real. <laughs> I met a mshirika yesterday. Amen. Mushirika. Alikuwa mushirika hapa. 
na siku moja nilitangaza kazi mahali miaka ya zamani kuna watu walikuwa wakinipatia tu kazi na kuja natangaza hapa na watuma watu waende waka apply huko ya niliambia yeye hakuwa kwa kanisa lakini akitoka aliambiwa alikuwa amesindikisha mama akaambiwa kuna mahali na akaenda akapata kazi lakini yule nilikuwa nimetuma yule alikuwa qualified alichelewa hakufika on time kwa hivyo huyu mwingine alipofika on time walipofanya interview akaandikwa hapo hapo si Mungu akufungulie mlango tu <laughs> sio wewe lakini uende uandikwe wewe but that is also the story that amazes me is this akafika pale akasema sheiga na ne sheiga siandikwi tena hapa zima mani akaanza kuchamsha chakula hudhurukia tu yani kuchamsha tu jahi jogo koko sijui maindigine inaitwa koko inaitwa okay na mudhoni kuna nyingine inaitwa mudhoni wairimo hapo <laughs> nimewezwa hiyo hiyo Salimia jirani yako. Umwambie Mungu akitaka kukubariki. Zile njia anaweza pitia. Actually ukiambia watu hawaamini. Huyo mama ushuhuda wake ni jana. Ananiambia ako na store, anajazaga hizo mbosho hapa na makaa. Eh? Haya. Isitoshe. Sasa apiki nje. Amechukua duka. Analipa giri 15. Ako na wafanyikazi. Aise. Amenunua ploti hapo. Aise. Salimia jirani yako. Enlarge. Don't limit yourself. Hii chachi yetu kuna professor wa mbuzi. Eh? Mnamjua profesa yule yako na mbuzi, alianza na tumbuzi, ameweka ngombe, ploti ya 50 by 75 na wewe huko na eka moja. Acha nikuajie hapa. Kwa sababu hata ya muda nayo haipo. So Isaac, that was expansion. So I see the Lord making room for you in Jesus name. When a room is is made then it means that something is coming to fill that room may god also give you what will fill those rooms hallelujah i also see somebody else that was blessed hallelujah his name was king saul he experienced enlargement as well he was a miserable ass seeker anayetafuta punda sijua unatafuta kadini lakini yeye alikuwa akitafuta punda wa baba yake lakini akirudi nyumbani alikuwa mfaume sijui kwenu ulitoka ukija na Nairobi kutafuta nini si urudi ukiwa tofauti that's a prayer that i pray for you so was blessed from anas sika yani mtafutaji wa punda usinione hivi mimi nimeendesha matatu i say usinione hivi nimeuza dawa mb suta and capsules wengine hata mjui hiyo ni nini dio mb suta na capsules kwa sababu hata mb sijui ilienda wapi hata suta siyo lagi siku hizi kwani walibadilisha capsules dio ninajua ziko lakini tulikuwa tukiuza tu zile ziko tu antibiotics tu kuuzia watu but you know what that god you amen sini kuachia hapa tu wewe because god wants to expand you the bible says in deuteronomy 22 and verse 20 when the lord thy god shall enlarge thy border as he has promised thee you see god has promised he has promised us that he is going to enlarge our borders so i see the reason why you must expand is because you are a child of god there must be an enlargement 
because I'm a child of God. Hallelujah. The second reason why you must enlarge is because God wants you to be a blessing to others. He that is more in possession will struggle in helping others. He that is all of sports, touches spiritually, have no or little to offer to others. Abraham had to be blessed, to be enlarged, so he would also be a blessing to others. No wonder the Bible says, what you see, Abraham, I'm going to give it to you, and your children will be blessed, so that you can be a blessing to others. May the Lord bless you and bless me, so that we can be a blessing to others. The second reason why God has to enlarge us is because he wants us to be a blessing to others. The third reason why God has to enlarge us or we have to enlarge ourselves in the Lord is to silence and frustrate the wicked. The wicked will continue to make noise around you when you are small. But when, you are la la when your Lord enlarges you, they will be silent. They will be silent. Blessed be the name of the Lord. They will be silent. The fourth reason why you, you, you must be enlarged is because enlargement puts a song of praise in your mouth. A song of praise in your mouth. Yes, the Bible says, See, O barren, thou that didst had not bear, break forth into singing and cry aloud that thou didst not travail with the child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, says the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth in the curtains of their inhibition. Spare not, lengthen thy cords and strengthen their sticks for they shall, not, they shall break forth on the right hand and on the left. When the Lord enlarges you, nobody, nobody, and I say again, nobody, will teach you how to praise the Lord. When the Lord enlarges you, nobody, not a bishop, not a pastor, not a cell pastor, when the Lord enlarges you, nobody will teach you. You will be there bumbling for joy. Hallelujah. That you will be singing. You will not feel frustrated that you're a single girl at 40. Never. Why? Because the Lord will cause you to rejoice in him. If he enlarges you, nobody. Hamna, I say. I normally tell single mothers, thank God you are not a single mother. They call you single mother. But as far as God is concerned, you are a child of God. And your baby or children, the Lord knows them. Hallelujah. And how about the areas? I, think, I see my time is moving very fast, so we will continue some other time. But just before I finish, let me say a few things here also. There are areas that you need to enlarge in your life. If you want God to fill them, there are areas you need to enlarge. You need to enlarge your prayer life. Take time to pray. Take time to pray. There is no prayer that goes to the waste. I normally tell people there are prayers that God is answering me now. I prayed a long time ago. I even forgot them. I had prayed I'll go to Jamaica. But I had forgotten I was there this year. And it happened this year. And I found myself in Jamaica. Oh my goodness. I don't know what you have prayed. God has not forgotten. Maybe you can tell your neighbor what you had prayed. What had you prayed? At Kweda Mombasa. Oh, Jayenda. Keep waiting. The Lord will open that door for you. Utajikuta Mombasani. I say, Uyo ni mungu. Hallelujah. There are places that I will still go. Yeah, I will still go. You know, I thought about Australia for many years. But God had to take my sister-in-law there so that I can go visit her there. Eh? Yeah. So there are some of you, our relatives, have to go there. And by the way, Susan, there is a Susan here. Susan is Amanda. And I end Tuesday. Susan is going on Tuesday. Dr. Yake Asha Enda. Kwa hivyo mkiona Susan, si kanisa atakuwa mehama. Atakuwa me kukutangulia. Ili unueza mtembelea. Au ya naitawo mungu. He, hakuna nyumba hajui. 
Ah huyo ni Mungu. Hebu muangalie jirani yako vizuri mwambie Mungu anajua kwenu. God is, I I love this God. I love God. I have to enlarge my prayer life. I have to enlarge my take in of the word of God. I have to enlarge it so the capacity of hearing God's word and obeying God's word and practicing God's word is larger in me so that what I hear I practice. I have so many testimonies of people that have believed God's word and God's word has come through for them. Some have they've done crazy things but God has still come through for them. Wengine wamebeba mchanga ya pahali walitaka si kuuziwa waliuzua mchanga na bishop. Ati njooni ni wauzie mchanga hii itakuwa ni ni shamba yako. Sasa hiyo shamba nakupa na ni mchanga nimetoa hapa inaweza kuwa cha shamba yako. Crazy ni kwenda kwa hiyo shamba unataka hiyo unaiangalia kama una imani unabeba mchango unasema hii haitanunuliwa mpaka siku nitainunua mimi na unaenda nyumbani wanajaribu kuuza wanajaribu kuuza siku moja tu ukipita wanasema wanauza ukienda kuuliza wanakwambia una pesa ngapi yani sasa wewe ndio utaamua wamejaribu wame... una pesa ngapi do i was amazed i was amazed at um... Somebody who gave this testimony that um, Tatu City a plot is 26 million. Did you hear that? But he was buying Tatu City plot for 16 million. From somebody who had bought I don't know at 12 or something, but he is in need. He wants to sell it at 16 million. Milioni 10 zinaenda. Chwa. Huyu anaitagwa Mungu. Ukiambiwa hivi unaanza kuwa na tamaa. Kwani mimi hawawezi kuja hawa watu jamaa? You know we sat somewhere in 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 19 uh, 208 somewhere having a cup of tea uh, on the super highway and uh, i had my brother reverend mugo who is here and our late brother was going to be with the lord wahome and as we sat um at that time Mashiringi ilikuwa imenihepa sana actually ilikuwa inaniona inatoroka inakuja inaisha upesi mwezi unakuwa mrefu lakini tukiwa pale nikasikia nika language can you <laughs> language may god help you to hear some language and they enlarge your thinking hapo tukiongea huyu reverend akapata e kaine hapo nikafikiria niseme nipewe moja but i had no money ukisema unaambiwa wekelea kwa meza sikuwa tuo nine how tulikuwa na hapa nilikuwa nikiwauzia huyu weka kumi na huyu gide weka bili yani huyo anaitagwa Mungu si mwambie jirani yako ni Mungu maajabu ya Musa na Firauni inaweza kukuangukia baka watu wa kwenu wachindi umetokezea wapi ni anaitagwa Mungu and even today me I, I, I get marveled vile unaenda kwa tajiri unamwambia kupatie shamba na hauna hata ndururu hiyo imani je ingie kwako because you know shida yetu ni imani mimi ninaenda kwa huyu jamaa nikasema shamba yake nitanunua na sina hata si nimekwambia hata ile tukiwa vijana kulikuwa na ile ya 1956 ya shimo hiyo hauko ukipeana sijui ni kwa kalikuwa kazito kidogo tukicheza ile na mapeni hiyo ndio ya kugonga inaitwa kigongi tukitupa mapeni kwa shimo alafu ugonge ile utaonyeshwa uigonge ka unachukua zote zile zimeingia shimo na hizo zingine zote lakini kama zikiingia kwa shimo ni zako ya kugonga naona wazee wengine hapa wanakubuka kigongi basi ni sawa vijana hiyo ni, ni strange strange than fiction but i'm saying god can come through for you but it is to believe his word what he says about me enlarge your character improve it improve your character 
improve your intellectual power, enlarge your financial base, enlarge your giving capacity, just give. Enlarge your spiritual power, enlarge your service to God, especially in areas of soul winning, win others for the Lord. Blessed be the name of King Jesus. Where? Wacha ni nitachukua dakika zenu kidogo tu kwa sababu kuna tu vitu nimeona nikiwaachia hapo litawaacha hanging. Second Kings. Second Kings. Chapter 6 verse 1 to 7. And the sons of the prophet said to Elisha, See now the place where we dwell with you is too small for us. Please, let's go to the Jordan and let every man take a beam from there and let us make there a place where we may dwell. So he answered, Go. Then one said, Please consent to go with your servants. And he answered, I will go. So he went with them. And when they came to the Jordan, they cut down trees. But as one was cutting down a tree, the iron axe head fell into the water. And he cried out and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. So the man of God said, Where did it fall? And he showed him the place. So he, he cut off a stick and threw it in there. And he made the iron float. I like that. Therefore, he said, Pick it up for yourself. So he reached out with his hand and took it. Iron can float. That's what this passage simply says. Iron normally sinks, but all with God's presence, iron should float for you and for me. Hallelujah. A number of things that I find from that scripture and that I will be done. The sons of the prophet said to Elisha, where we are now is too small for us. They hated that small place. They got uncomfortable there. They refused to continue there. Take that step too for your life. Hallelujah. Develop a hatred for smallness. Number two. They said to Elisha, they did not keep quiet. They spoke out. You speak out through prayers. Prayer enforces your enlargement. As you pray, speak to God just like the way the sons of the prophet spoke to Elisha. Because God will hear. May God hear you. Hallelujah. The sons of the prophet said to Elisha, let us go. That is action. We must go. Something with respect to your prayers should force you to go. 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 Engage in an action. Go submit your CV. Go. Drop that quotation. Go. Write that exam as a student. Read your book. Go. Learn a new skill. Go. Go. Make that call. Go. Make that market in that product. Go, go, go. Action. Action. Hallelujah. Action. The sons of the prophet having spoken to Elisha, Elisha said to them, go. But one of them said, sir, please go with us. Secure the backing of God. Let God back you. Don't engage in that action, not being sure that God is part of it. Because God can cause an axe, an iron axe, to float for you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hmm. Hallelujah. Simamatu. Simamatu. I want to declare certain things for you. And as I do so, Lord Jesus, I declare them for myself. Hallelujah. I pray for you. May Jehovah make room in your life for enlargement in Jesus' name. May he broke the yokes of limitations in your life in Jesus' name. May he launch in you from where you are. Enlarge your coast and enlarge your territories in Jesus' name. May he cause you to cross that ancestral line drawn in your family that nobody has never crossed in Jesus' name. May the Lord release fire along the path of your destiny to clear the crooked path for your life so that you can enlarge speedily. Yes, I provoke the anointing to fall upon you 
for enlargement to rest upon you for enlargement in the name of Jesus. May this enlargement put a new song in your mouth. Your life won't lack praises in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I exonerate you from the foundational attacks that attack your enlargement in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let every enemy waiting to frustrate your enlargement wait in vain in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, may you receive the anointing for divine enlargement in your life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. What a Savior.